Good morning, YouTube. Pipe smokers. Hope y'all can see me alright. I got a new setup around my little station here, my smoke station. Today, I'm smoking on the Thompson Oompal. I've got a nice flat bottom right there. And uh, you can't see it very well, but there's a crown right right here uh, for the Thompson. And uh, research has shown me that it's a uh, Savinelli second. Um, but it could just be that it was built in the same factory as uh, Savinelli. Drinking a little bit of coffee out of an orange mug. Uban. Pretty tasty stuff. In the pipe, I'm smoking Peter Stokely's Luxury Navy Flake. Uh, trying, trying a different approach and I, I, I broke a flake in half, stuffed that in the bottom, uh, very, very loosely. And the size of this pipe, or the bowl, I'm able to stick another half of a flake uh, in there on top and fully rubbed. That way it lights better and everything else. Uh... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's the that's the size of one flake. That's the size of a zippo. So it's roughly the same size as a Zippo, width, width and height. Or it's not as thick, obviously. But anyways, uh, West Virginia Smoke Shop. I got a good deal on eight ounces of this stuff <clears throat> and it had to mellow out just a little bit I stuck it in a jar and let it set for about a week or so uh, it was it was kind of bitey and everything but all around a good smoke uh, I'm not, I'm not sure about, uh, what I could compare this to. I haven't tried Deluxe Twist yet. It's next on my list. But, so far, Peter Stokeby's has been alright. Even their Cube Cut Burley. I recommend giving that a try. Uh, one note to think about on that is uh, when you're when you're smoking the cube cut burley, any cut really. Uh, I read reviews, and uh, some people said tall bull with a uh, tall bull. And just gravity feed it, just drop it in. It bit the crap out of me. It hurt really bad. So I recommend uh, one of the guys I, I watch, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, 
but he did a Sir Walter Raleigh review, and he said something about the uh, the crumble cake type uh, texture of Sir Walter Raleigh, and he packs it tighter, or then you know, or he can pack it a little tighter because of the fact that it's uh, the shape of the tobacco. I thought, well, that makes sense. So I tried it with the Cube Cut Burley. I packed it tight instead of loose. It actually made a made a big difference. Tamping with the uh, Angela's brand new bag tamper. Thanks again, Angela. It's great. Just a little tamperoo there. So. I don't know how good this video is because I don't have a front facing camera. But I do have this. So hopefully it works out well. Hope you all are all are doing well. Uh so you see the also, part of this video was to show off some restored pipes uh, that I personally did. I, I did these personally. It was great. Um, so there's the Savinelli, or Thompson, I should say, that I redid. Very shiny. It was all oxidized, really, really badly coated green. Uh, I've done this one. And I'm going to grab a couple more here real quick while I'm at it. Forgot to dump out the bowls on a couple of them. Uh, let's see here. I'm still here. Hope you guys are still here. Oh. It's too early to stretch this much. I should have been better prepared for this video. Sorry. This you guys might have seen in the uh, Moon Trance review. Uh, the Tropical Paints Cleveland. It's a square paneled billiard with a very long stem. The stem go, the pl the plastic stem goes from the top of my finger here all the way up. It's pretty decent length of stem. Uh, really small, thin walled bowl. Probably, uh, I don't know maybe three quarters to an inch deep I didn't really get much on this I cleaned it up some I I cleaned out the bowl and uh, wiped down the stem I couldn't polish this it's a uh, plastic a plastic stem and the it don't do too well on a buffing wheel but it has a yellow square square double square there um, I believe that I don't know if that's yellow bowl uh, symbol but this is the yellow bowl checker uh, as you can see it's been quietly nicely carved into a checkered pattern very nice uh, I really dig that one uh, this one the stem was super oxidized. It was like practically all light brown. I can't, you can't see it probably very well, but this one is a, uh, rare rustic, it says. Some, House of Westminster, House of Westminster. Uh, it has the carburetor on the bottom of the bowl, which is clogged, and I don't ever plan on scraping that out, because that's 
not necessarily too much work, but uh, it really doesn't serve as much of a purpose as one would think. Uh, nice bowl, tree stump shaped, very nice. Um, these are pipes that I uh, got from Squid Fisher 99. And all these bowls, I uh, are, I scraped out all the bowls and polished up all the stems. Uh, there's, there's a nice K Woody. Uh, this one is the Relief Grain number eleven. Now, what's weird about this is it has a regular push, push pull tenon with the metal mortise and. I don't see threads in there, so I'm not sure if this was the original stem. It's actually cracked top and bottom here on the bit, uh, and it doesn't fit. It it doesn't fit flush right here, but that's okay. Still going to be a good smoker. It's a K Woody. Um, then I have the Mirisham, courtesy of Squid Fisher. I like mirror. Uh, it's partially colored already. I need to give it a good wipe down because it's kind of dirty. Kind of thin on the walls, but it's got a decent depth in the bowl. And when I got this, this was a straight acrylic stem. And uh, I used boiling hot water. Um, I just used the microwave. No big deal. Uh, really hot water. Two cup with a um, regular mug with toothpick in it uh, and ran a pipe cleaner in it just to be safe and it helped me hold it and in the water uh, got a nice little bend on it I like it and I think no I know I did a couple more um, let me see if I can find them. Um, but how are you guys? How are you? How are you guys doing? I mean, I, I personally, I'm doing all right. I guess. I guess the rest of them are in the in my office, so they're not out here. Oh, there's the, uh, I forgot these ones. There's the Dansky Club, made in Denmark, 306. Uh, research has told me that this is a Stanwell second. So that's good. And this one, this is... A great little pipe. I should have been smoking the flake out of this. This is the, it's called a part out. It's check made. But it's got a uh, nice little straight Dublin look, or billiard look. But it's got a uh, curved stem. It has the uh, canted lip. I don't know what else to call that beveled lip uh, on a rim on the on the bowl there the bowl diameter is kind of small and the walls aren't very thick so boring that out making it like a three-quarter inch or something is not possible but let me tell you I sm I smoke this one I love it it smokes great um, this video is kind of long, I'm sure. I haven't really looked at the time. But, hopefully you guys have watched the whole video. Now, I don't have a buffing wheel. Or, I'm sorry, uh, a, I don't have a buffer like one would think a buffing wheel. 
I have a drill I bought for 20 bucks at Walmart. I bought a polishing wheel kit for a drill at Home Depot. <coughs> None of the shine that you see on these stems comes from carnauba wax. It's the white diamond. And, uh, the waxy compound of the white diamond is what polishes this up. I went to the automotive section and got sandpaper of Walmart. Uh, if you just take some 320 or 400, some 800 grit and some 1000 grit, some water, a nice little bowl to hold the water in and uh, a nice little spot you can work on with enough elbow grease you'll get that thing smoother than smooth okay factory smooth it was like it was just made uh, only if they're heavily oxidized, then you you know you could skip out the the 400. Go go 800 and a thousand grit. But they have 2,000 grit sandpaper, and it takes quite a bit of work. But if you go through the grits and make the transition properly. That 2000 grit sandpaper is just about the smoothest thing you can get. And then if you get that buffing wheel with a little bit of uh, carnauba wax, you will greatly improve the look of your pipes. Uh, you could even use the 2000 grit on your bowl. Uh, you can use it you can use it on the bowl to uh, take off like a little bit of that tar buildup around the top of the rim here uh, finger finger grime um, unlike the stem where you can dip it in the water though I don't recommend that for the briar just soak your get your sandpaper wet So that's kind of my new thing. I I got a mess out here, but it's kind of let me show you. Looks like that's my stand that I was recording on on a recliner chair. <laughs> there I am. Uh on a recliner chair, I just set it up, straddled the straddled the leg rest and started making the video <laughs> let me show you guys okay so this is my little station here it's really a mess right now but uh, got all my pipes over here some tobaccos um, sorry that the pause that was Life light. Uh, he, it passed way too fast for me to show. But anyways, there's a tray that I'm going to convert to being a, uh, a matches holder, a pipe, uh, you know, a cleaner holder, you know, pipe cleaner, stuff like that. Uh, I should have looked at the time while I was there. I think this is about a 15 minute video now. So guys, that's about it for right now. Um, if you have any questions, comments, complaints, anything, 
comment section below. Uh, I try to get to all the comments. Uh, not saying that I will all the time, but I uh, private messages. I get back to them. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. Uh, JacobJoy81 at yahoo.com the email address to look me up at and uh, yeah so there's uh, not a whole lot that uh, I can think of I just mostly wanted to make a video come on, come on say hi uh, ask how y'all were doing Evo Masher, I hope you get well soon. My prayers are with you, sir. Uh, there's been a lot of prayer requests lately. Uh, I've been praying a lot for everybody. Um, I, I may not know all of you. Uh, but I have definitely been praying, and I've kept you guys in my heart. Uh... Y'all are important to me. Uh, very important. I love all of you guys. You guys are great. Um, always supportive. Always wonderful. Uh, if I have questions or anything like that, everybody seems to be good to answer. Um, question. The solution to having to take apart the Umpal to put a pipe cleaner in there to take care of extra moisture uh... that is that's the question to ponder today i don't care i'll smoke it sideways It's my pipe, <laughs> my enjoyment, my risk of breaking the stem if I turn it again. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate the time that you've put into uh, watching this all the way to the end, hopefully. Y'all have a blessed day. Keep smoking.